I know the Knuckles joke literally just came out, but it might already be Sonic Movie 3 time. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sonic Brigades, another video. In this video today, the fun just doesn't stop with this Sonic movie universe. We just got the Knuckles TV show. It's been an incredibly divisive time in the fan base in relation to that thing, but really what everybody's eyes have been kind of set on this year is Sonic Movie 3. It's going to be releasing later this year on December 20th, and there's been a lot of question marks around when are we going to get an actual look at the movie, specifically a trailer that us, the audience, can see. Because if you guys aren't aware, a few weeks ago, Sonic Movie 3 did have a presence at CinemaCon where a teaser was revealed to the audience and they got their first look at Shadow. We broke down a description of that, as you guys might have seen. And then a few days after that, or really the weekend after, we got the announcement that Keanu Reeves would be playing Shadow the Hedgehog. It's been a very exciting time. There has been news, there has been stuff to look forward to, but when we got that, you know, trailer description and we knew that there was a trailer shown, that obviously means it's in a state to where there could be something released to the public and that's very exciting but the question really was when it's obvious it wasn't gonna happen before the knuckles show they needed to let that show have its time to shine upon its release but a lot of question marks have been coming up about it recently because if you guys don't know recently a trailer for the lion king prequel mufasa the lion king was released by disney if you guys aren't aware that movie is set to release as of now on the release date of sonic movie 3 one of the movies is gonna move i think we all know that by this point they're not gonna release two big family films on the same day it would just like cannibalize each other and somebody's gonna have to budge. And not only in do my personal opinion do I think that Paramount needs to put the pressure on Disney, but it seems like that's exactly what's going to happen, is we have some reports coming out that Sonic Movie 3 will have a trailer coming this week. Various tweets that you are seeing on screen right now have been posted by various people who have been, you know, posting little things here and there in relation to Sonic Movie 3, and I'm just gonna say off the bat, I don't entirely buy that there's going to be a trailer this week for that reason. I'm sure a lot of these people are just kind of taking what other people have said and want to like validate themselves so they're kind of just saying the same thing just in case it happens I don't look at these people on the same level and I encourage you guys not to like we look at somebody like Daniel RPK who gets pretty much everything right when it comes to this franchise these are Twitter nobodies and no disrespect maybe some of them do know what's going on but a lot of the things that some of these people have said also is not true there was a brief description of something that could have been going on in the Sonic movie 3 trailer that is supposedly finished and coming this week one of the things that one of the sources is saying about the trailers that Amy and Rouge aren't in it and this is something that I think I kind of also wanted to talk about we've talked about it a lot on the channel before but I think as time goes on it's becoming increasingly lower likely that they're probably not going to be in it but if let's say that this person is accurate in their description and breakdown of what's going on here in the trailer then it appears they're not going to appear in it and I don't think that's really something that would entirely like keep secret in like a Marvel situation where you're like nobody can know that they're in the film I feel like if you had Amy and Rouge in the movie I think it's something you'd promote off the bat maybe it's something they'd save but once again we've heard nothing about it no indicators out there in the movie so we'll have to wait and see but why do i personally why do i speed supersonic ricardo think that there is a good chance a trailer is coming this week and that is mainly because of what we mentioned earlier i think paramount needs to put the pressure on disney to maintain their release date there's been this constant conversation of sonic going against various other films i think paramount knew that when they initially put sonic movie 3 on december 20th that avatar was going Going to get delayed. That was a very confident move and a smart one because it's Avatar. Of course it's going to get delayed. They then got replaced by Thunderbolt. They stuck to their plan because, you know, Disney's been just laying so many of their films and now it seems like they've really settled on Lion King releasing on that day. But, you know, there has been a lot of controversy, if you really want to call it that, or really just blowback to this Lion King film. A lot of people didn't like that initial 2019 Lion King movie, but whether you like it or not, that film made a bunch of money at the box office and that really can't be ignored it's the highest grossing animated film of all time i believe and i doubt that the same audience is going to be there for this like i i don't think it's going to really compete that highly in comparison to the 2019 film but i think we'd be ignorant to say that it wouldn't do well at the box office despite how much some people would you know beg to differ but i don't think sonic should be ignored as well this is a very highly anticipated powerhouse film that is coming off a franchise with major trajectory all the movies have made increasingly more money we now have a TV show, the brand's identity has been built a little more in external media, like TV shows and video games and merchandise and all of that stuff. Everything is kind of just leading up 
to the third movie being bigger and better. If they really put the pressure on Disney and show that, you know, with this trailer that they're cooking up something very, very good, not just with the movie itself, but also like the fan base reception, and not just the fan base, but the general audience as well. Just getting the hype around that and the love around Sonic Movie 3 could really make Disney see that and be like, maybe we should delay this by a week or two, or maybe we can push up the release date by a bit. We'll have to wait and see. But regardless, like I said, this is all going to end in basically one of these movies moving release dates. It's going to have to happen at some point. It's just a matter of who and when. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, well, why haven't they changed release dates yet, either of the films? And that's because this spot is very, very coveted. Paramount very clearly wants this spot, hence why they haven't budged from it since they initially made it. But Disney really wants that spot as well for one of their movies because they know how lucrative that weekend is going to be, basically Christmas weekend. Families are going to be together, families are going to be going to the theater, they're going to have money to spend, there's going to be merchandise to be bought around that time. It's going to be hard for one of these guys to budge, but they're going to have to. And if Lion King already has a trailer out right now, that means Paramount has to now start applying pressure to Disney. They need to drop their trailer, make it bigger and better. The trailer to this Lion King movie didn't get the best reception. It's very mixed from what I've seen. A lot of people are like, why do we need this? I love Barry Jenkins, who's the director of this who did Moonlight, but like, who really asked for a Mufasa prequel? Paramount just needs to continue putting out marketing material for Sonic 3. They need to show off Shadow. They need to have Keanu Reeves have a presence in this marketing campaign. They really just need to go bald to the wall. We know that they're, they're going to be the merchandise launch in around October, I believe, this year, which is still a ways out. So you need to kind of flood the summer with just a bunch of stuff like trailers and posters and marketing material. They definitely have their work cut out for them. And with the absolute giant that Disney is and the marketing machine that they have behind them, they're going to be pushing this Mufasa movie. So they have to make sure that they're able to like keep up with that in terms of Sonic 3. And that's the main reason why I think that there is a chance that there is going to be a trailer trailer coming this week. Some people have said that their theater that they work for has got the trailer in. Some people are saying it's already been uploaded to YouTube and all of that stuff. Some people have seen the trailer. It's all hearsay right now, and the reason I'm not, you know, treating it with very much, you know, significance is because I just simply believe that these people are making lucky guesses and they don't really have, like, any concrete information or real proof. I think people have just heard things and think that this would be a smart time to release a Sonic Movie 3 trailer, and I would agree. You just had the Knuckles show release, and for the people who have haven't been sold on the Knuckles show yet, dropping a trailer and, you know, then that leading them to the Knuckles show could really help Paramount out and push that show further and build up the hype for Sonic 3. A lot of people have Sonic 3 on the mind who have already seen the Knuckles show, so they're going to want to see a trailer for that. I think it's a good move. Is it very soon? Yes, but I think if you wait towards the end of the week, like maybe a Friday or something, then that could work. There's been talk about this trailer releasing alongside another Paramount film called If, if you guys haven't heard of that, it's Big Purple Monster Guy. There's so many possibilities on when this trailer could drop it could be this week like a lot of people are predicting and there's been speculation about and reports about but it also could be next week or sometime in May. Regardless though I do think the trailer is coming soon especially if they already had completed footage at CinemaCon to show people and now with Disney applying pressure by releasing the first trailer to their Mufasa movie. But this is where I pass it off to you. Do you guys think that we'll be getting a Sonic Movie 3 trailer this week? And if not, when do you think we can expect it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow my social media links to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You can follow those mindsets of my life, future and don't think Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. This is the number one destination on YouTube for all things Sonic. Whether it's video games, TV shows, movies, covers, merchandise, and more, we talk about it all. We're gonna be covering this movie like a hawk, as I'm sure you guys know. Whenever something Sonic Movie 3 comes up, this is the spot to be for all of it. Not just that, but there's so much other amazing Sonic content coming out this year from the gaming front, the merchandise front. It's going to be such an exciting time to be a Sonic fan. I love all you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.